Hi, I have the Maxitronics little a digital lab here or a electronics lab. It's called the 200 in 1. And I bought this and I thought I would use it and show my kids how to use electronic components. Okay, so I'm going to unbox this. I'll show you a little bit. I'll demonstrate how it works and I'll give you my review of this. Okay, so this is the box itself. If you want to know the size of it, uh, so it's like 42. So I'm going to show you the unit right now. And uh, inside, okay, obviously it's just the packaging at the moment. Here is the unit itself. That's what it looks like. That's the front end. And just to give you an idea of what you'll be getting, this is 37 centimeters. And the depth here is... 23 and it's not, very, it's not very thick as you can see about seven with the, including the feet All right, so how it works is as follows. You need to put some double A batteries. It takes six to be exact There's the double A batteries now here is your trainer section and you can see they've got um, I don't know if you can see but these are resistors and you can see it's got a number one two three four five six seven. so these are all different value resistors you can see the color coding on these resistors is different all right then these are little uh, spring posts so what happens is included in the pack uh, box you'll get some connecting wires now what is quite nice is these connecting wires are of different lengths for example the green is very long the yellow is quite long and then the red if you look if, you sh if I show you like a red versus yellow sorry a yellow is is actually very long not as long as the green the green is the longest then you see the red and um, if you see the white is very short say you were just going from pin uh, 20 post 20 to maybe the one ne next door see then you could use a white so that's quite clever you've got quite a lot of these connecting leads and then it comes with this which I'm assuming is a little earphone uh, old-fashioned earpiece and that's what you get uh, you don't get anything else there's no motor included in here everything else is built in now if you look on the front you'll see that there's tuning control there is the segment, seven segment digital display. These are the LEDs, one to six. You can see there's an LDR, a light dependent resistor. This is also an LED, uh, a switch. Okay, so why it's making that noise is I've already made a circuit, which I'm going to discuss with you now. There's a little speaker and there's a terminal. Um, in terms of the construction, well, look, this is just like cardboard at the back. Uh, this is cardboard. If you spilt water on here, you, obviously you wouldn't want it because it's electronics. But this is not something that's going to last you 20 years. Um, this is very cheaply made. Uh, you can see, I mean, look, when I press on it, it just kind of bends. It's like this is a piece of cardboard, as you can see, and they just like folded it. Uh, so don't think you're going to get something that's premium. What I think you're paying for is this. Now, this booklet is what I'm impressed with. This is uh, much more premium. Okay, it's got a nice gloss cover. Now, you're probably not interested in all this stuff in terms of whether it's glossy or not. But what I'm trying to show you here is that this booklet is something that you definitely want to keep. In fact, this is the most important part of the uh, of this product so it goes through step by step with some explanation of how these devices work all the little parts of the the um, little trainer board and then it comes to the circuits and one by one they count there you got electronic candle um, a rain detector and then you can see how you wire it up it'll tell you a little bit about what the circuit is is going to do and then it shows you the wiring sequence 21 to 23 and I'll go through that a little bit more uh, detail shortly. I just want to show you, uh, this is premium. This is not like on newspaper paper. This is properly done. And uh, I just started here more towards the middle. Because if you look here, this is a circuit diagram as opposed to just a wiring diagram. So we made this electronic buzzer. And you can see there it's showing you what the circuit is. And I'm just going to read a little 
extract to you just to show you that this is not in poor English. It is done perfectly well. It says, here's a terrific electronic buzzer you can use for a doorbell or signaling device. When you complete the wiring connections, press on the key. You'll hear a loud buzzing sound from the speaker. Now touch the relay case, blah, 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 blah. So it tells you a little bit about it, and then it's telling you a little bit about the relay. It says that when you, when you, uh, press here or when you touch here you should feel it buzzing so it's quite educational for example we built this and now look they're using this uh, relay as a as a fast changing switch it's actually almost uh, a closing open closing open it's rapid it's like oscillating the relay and what is happening is um, they're saying touch the top of the relay and you will feel the relay action. So I like that. I like that to go through it with the, with the kids or even an adult. This, this is definitely not uh, that basic. Although it looks basic, it's not that basic. And I'll tell you why it's not that basic. All right. So now it says press here. Now, obviously, with kids, they're not going to press gently. You press hard and you can see the whole board like falls in here. So that's what I'm not that impressed with. I'm, I'm mad. I don't think this is very premium. I mean, even look in the corner here. They didn't quite get it in properly. And then the, the cardboard is coming out. So I felt a bit sad when I got it like that because, uh, you know, you, this is something you want to last. You, buy, you only buy something like this once. Anyway. Okay, so let's go back to this little buzzer. Now I have it upside down so that I can read it. Now it says there... Um, point f 50 to 91 so you, what you would do is you would look here for number 50 and there it is 50 and then there it's going to 91 and then you'll go to the next one which is to 63 91 to 63 so there's 91 and there's 63 then it says 52 to 167 so you'll find 52 there it is 52 to 167 and what you do is you just pull the, or you can just um, bend the spring and put the con conductor in there now what I didn't like is you see here's the wire twisted but you can see these wires all loose here they could have at least soldered this or used solid not flexible cable and when I say solid I mean like you could have used cat5 cable that's what we used in uh, in in when we studied electronics we just used tele old telephone wires which is uh, usually a, a solid uh, copper core because now when you put this in over time you can see that the 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 little uh, th strands open up and now you could have some problems there okay so what do I think of this thing well this thing is very exciting especially for young people when they or somebody who's never done electronics before because you connect a few wires it steps you through it step by step and it, it kind of briefs you on what to expect and then when you get it right well you know you can see something happen and the display of a, a VU meter so it's got a lot of uh, functions it's even got a gate and I think this should be a basic requirement in most schools where when you're doing science experiments you should actually be doing electronics um, so for those who are interested in electronics they, this should be uh, available although maybe in uh, in some schools they're already doing this but I would have liked to have seen a motor turning I think that's quite useful especially to see um, you know the the change in resistance you could have changed the intensity of a light but you could also change the uh, speed of a motor because the LEDs are not very um, distinguishable because what happens is these if you're in a very well lit room you can barely see these lights they're not very bright whereas if the LED was kind of just on the through the panel here you would actually see it much easier but anyway it does work it does do what it's supposed to do uh, what was very exciting is going through this book and, and letting the children choose a circuit so then they will we'll go through this one by one and now we've done the electronic buzzer and then next we might do the light switch and then we might do a night light with a there's an LDR and as you can see there are a lot of circuits here and some of them really interesting so this is quite a lot of fun now is it suitable for everyone well now that's what i wanted to just close off this review with this is a basic breadboard and excuse it's so dusty because i haven't pulled it out since my uh, electronic training days but what has happened is um, i just assumed that i would show my kids electronics on this 
But this assumes that the person already knows what a transistor is and a resistor. If you're starting with children who are a bit younger, for example, my children are 10 and 8, um, they don't know what a resistor is. They don't know what a transistor is. Uh, they know what a button is and an LED. So I think the first step is to start with a breadboard and just showing them how to connect things up. Then this is kind of um, a, a wonderful way to play with electronics, kind of once you know what electronics are, like you, you know what the resistor is. Because this is kind of like, I don't know if you remember in the old days, you used to get those books that used to say thousand in one electronic circuits and used to have lots of circuits you could have used it for your labs if you were in college or whatever well you first have to know what a gate is what a, a resistor is and how they connect up you know how do they connect you got they got the wires they got to touch each other so i would say first start with the breadboard if your child or the adult you're teaching already knows uh, a breadboard and how resistors work and uh, the functions of the devices like a capacitor um, there we have a potentiometer a variable resistor if they already know that, then this is the next step. So I would say this is step two of introducing your children or somebody who wants to know electronics. Uh, this is step two. Would I buy this again? Um, unfortunately, there's not a lot to choose from in this area. So you're probably stuck with this or something similar. And I was thinking of getting a simpler one of these uh, after I bought this, but then I thought, no, if I want something simpler, go back to the breadboard and just do uh, manual uh, circuit. So overall, this is a lot of fun. You will have to be quite careful with it. Other than that, I, um, I'm quite happy that I purchased it. I'm not ecstatic, but in terms of the function that it provides, I give it a thumbs up. So I'll do a few more videos on making some circuits and I'll show you step by step how to make them. But right now, this is the first video on a Maxitronics Electronic Lab 201. Thanks for watching. Cheers.